I did promise I have a little bit of RPO stuff to look at, so I'm going to quickly get to that. Uh, as you can see, so this is kind of a, a cool setup here. Uh, this is a drill on the inside, and I know it's small, but if you can take a quick peek, this is a drill that we run in practice. So it's the RPO that we have. You can see we have one receiver set up, okay, with one, two box defenders. We have a center to snap the ball, a quarterback, and a tailback, and then an inside receiver. That inside receiver is going to read the field side or the, the, the opposite side back backer. You're going to see in some cases we run inside zone to the field or outside, or sorry, inside zone to the field or outside zone to the boundary. In either case, we're RPOing the boundary side backer. Okay, so we're going to be reading off the boundary side backer as quarterbacks and tailbacks. So the tailback is also responsible for the boundary side backer. So if the, if the boundary side backer blitzes, We'll abandon the fake altogether. The, the tailback will fall off, and he'll be responsible for the boundary side backer and blitz. The quarterback uh, is, is then just throwing the ball to our receiver, who is reading the field side backer. So if that field side backer just sits or plays run, he's just going to sit down on a hitch rep. If that field side backer blitzes or tries to wall off aggressively on getting underneath that receiver, he's going to wrap it uh, into that vacated zone uh, and hopefully we're going to get a really big play out of it. So I've got a few uh, practice demonstrations of this drill because I told you we 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 uh, factor our our uh, our practices into the actual plays that we run. So this is what an indie period would look like for us. And this was actually taken at York. So this is the first actual film of York I've showed you uh, uh, with some of our very young players uh, inside of pods. So this was the pod training that we were able to do back in December uh, while we were still able to get on the field. Uh, and the last play that you're going to see, the fourth clip uh, in a row, is going to be an actual RPO, the exact same drill that we ran, put into a game, again, against Waterloo, uh, where we run the RPO, and you'll see how the play translates to the drills. So let's get uh, to it. So the first one here, you're going to see outside zone to the boundary, where we are reading off of, as quarterbacks, this defender right in behind Nick's head. So this is a freshman quarterback, uh, Nicholas DeJesus. He was a big recruit for us. We really like Nick. Uh, he's one of uh, three or four quarterbacks that will be competing for the job at York. Uh, we have a veteran back, uh, Noah, who's got a really uh, a great skill set. And we got a couple other young players, uh, Brady and, and, and a couple more recruits and Elijah, uh, that are, they're going to compete hard for the job. So uh, what you can see here is Nick right here is going to be reading off this backer. This receiver who's just out of frame right now is going to be reading this receiver or this defender. Uh, the O line is really just there just to go through steps. And sometimes they actually get in the way and block the wrong guy only because there's no front in front of them to actually block, but you'll see. So you can see in this case, the backer steps down. We're running outside zone to the boundary right now. So just like if we were running inside zone to the field, either way, we're RPOing off that defender. So that back is now responsible for, in this particular case, he's responsible for that backer who's got his hands up right now. So you can see how he's running through his outside shoulder. The quarterback is trusting the receiver to put him in the positive situation. And you can see right now, as he's sitting into this route, the number three receiver, because we're in 23, is has eyes on that number two defender. And you can see him peeking him right now. As he sits down, looks like he's running hitch, but because he's getting walled off, there he goes into the wrap. And you can see we throw right in behind his head. And this should turn into a really big play because now there is nobody in the box to make this tackle. And the free safety is going to be sinking. So it's going to turn into the free safety at depth one-on-one -on -one with one of our most athletic receivers. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to play it out for you in real time just so you guys can get a look at it. And you can see, you can probably hear the audio. Our quarterbacks are responsible for everything. I don't even know anything this drill. They have their choice of inside. Oh, yeah, hey. So the next drill, and we've got a couple different camera angles of the same drill. It's the exact same drill. This time it looks like instead of running outside zone, it looks like we're going to run inside zone. So you can see because we're obviously to the boundary right now. And we could run an RPO. You know, look, if, the, if, if they gave us the field, we would RPO the other way. So we'd be RPOing the other backer. And then we could run inside and outside zone. So there's no way. The great thing about us running inside and outside zone at both backers is there's no way that that's ever going to tip off what we're running or that we're running RPO. So once again, you're going to get the same look here. Uh, backer steps down, uh, and then the other backer with a delayed blitz. Obviously, we could have wrapped here because if it was a delayed blitz, but at the same time, he just he thought that the blitz happened much later, so he just sits down, which is also fine. 
Um, but you can see, obviously, in this case, the quarterback is quickly abandoning the fake. You can see he's getting off of it earlier because he sees that that boundary side backer is stepping down and absolutely playing run. So you can see Nick uh, does a good job extending ball and then doesn't read right all the way through because he doesn't need to. So now he just sets and resets himself and is ready to throw the football. And I'll play it out in real speed again. The next clip will be one more with a different camera angle again. So this time it's going to be outside zone again because we're always attacking boundary. We only have one receiver up, so it's clear we're attacking boundary. So again, uh, in this particular case, we're reading off this backer and we're, we're working to this backer with this receiver. So again, I'll just play it through slowly. You can see he blitzes here. So we get into a situation and, and again, it turns into wrap. The receiver sees it just a little late and you can see he doesn't peak until now. He's got to peak a little earlier. So he should have sat it down a little earlier. And because of that, it forces Nick just to hesitate a quick second but this is a pretty good ball, all things considered, uh, to put us in a really positive situation off the wrap rate. And again, we'll play it for you in real, real time. Finally, what it looks like in an actual game. So here's a rep of us running into Toronto. Again, I wish I could show you your clip, but I haven't coached a game at York, even though I've been employed for a year. Uh, so right now, look, they're giving us, uh, you can see right here, two on almost four right here. We're three on three to the boundary. Uh, so we're going to be RPOing this defender here. Receiver is going to be reading off this defender here. It's the exact same drill that we just ran. Okay, and I'll show it as it plays out. You can see right now that the backer steps down aggressively. Uh, no blitz coming, and the backer is not walling off the number three receiver. So should we just be throwing it immediately to the hitch to three, just like it was on that drill? Our receivers are always going to turn outside because we don't want to turn inside. There's no help with backers all in there. So we want to turn outside and pick up blocks as we go. And lastly, I'll play this one through in real time. It's got a happy ending. And we'll just watch it very quickly from the tight. You'll see the same thing. 38 is the RPO defender. Eight or zero or whatever number he is over on the right side is the backer that the receiver would be reading. You can see he said soft. The backer stepped down, took himself out of the play. We turn outside. Receivers are all turning back to pick up blocks. 12 does a good job of turning his back so that he doesn't get a block, a block in the back call. We teach that too. When you're working backside to pick up a block uh, to somebody that can't see you coming, work to them, get in front of them, and then turn your back so they run through you, but you didn't block them and you can't get called for penalty. 